So there is a pretty hilarious story. You guys remember Caitlyn Jenner announced that she would be running as a Republican in California to replace Gavin Newsom. There's a really heated recall going on that's not looking too good for Newsom. Um, but what appears to have happened is Caitlyn Jenner's campaign has been a complete joke. It's been a complete failure. From the polls that I've seen, it's as uh, batshit crazy Larry Elder, who is leading by a lot, which is pretty scary. So I really hope that Newsom you know, survives because I don't want Larry Elder to be governor of California. Um, it appears that Caitlyn Jenner, I don't even think is second. Uh, it appears she's third with 7%. So clearly the most, you know, um, celebrity power is with her. But it was it was doomed to failure. You're running as a Republican as a trans candidate. You know, you know what I mean? Like, how the fuck are you going to win that? That doesn't make any sense whatsoever. So, you know, obviously Republican voters are not going to vote for a trans candidate. But here's something that's really hilarious. So it appears that she got caught um, sending out a tweet that, you know, presumably was something she was supposed to send out on an alt account. So Caitlyn Jenner's original tweet says, Why? Do you want more unemployment? More from? What? More illegal immigration bringing COVID? Schools closed? BS. Forget hashtag Gavin Newsom. So obviously all that's just a bunch of, you know, Trumpian talking points, of course, all bullshit. Um, but she responds to the tweet saying, honestly shocked she would retweet that. Thank you. A very important story that needs to come to all Californians. So I'm a little bit confused as to even where this is what this is even trying to say. Obviously, it's supposed to, uh, it's a copy of a tweet, either, you know, that she was sending on an alt account or something like that. It says, honestly, shocked she would retweet that. Thank you. A very important story that needs to come to all Californians. So, you know, it's, it appears to be a tweet that she was trying to send out on an alt account to try to fake support for her, obviously, which is really embarrassing. Like, this is the lowest of the low. Um, but it's really not surprising when you look at the engagement numbers on Caitlyn Jenner's Twitter feed. Um, I mean, this is like embarrassingly low. This is like embarrassingly, embarrassingly low. I mean, this tweet's only got 87 favorites. This retweeted tweet has 37 favorites and 30 replies, which are probably not positive replies. This one has 215 favorites, 164 replies. Um, you know what I mean? Like 109 on the donation one. This one's 368. This one's 302. This is 103. Um, these engagement numbers are literal dog shit. And you're running for California governor. You've got all of this celebrity power. I don't know how on earth you have this low numbers. And I mean, you know, 3.4 million followers. You can barely scrape like 100 favorites on a tweet that's embarrassing. Like 37 on a retweet. So this is like Jeb Bush level failure, I would say. Uh, this is a pretty big failure, although this is way more obvious than the failure of Jeb Bush. This is very obvious that it was going to fail because, again, you're a trans candidate running in the Republican Party. It's it's absolutely bonkers. Um, it's it's insane. So obviously, Republican voters were never going to accept you. There's plenty of videos of um, her getting like shooed out of events by conservatives. And, you know, Tommy Loren came to her defense and stuff, but... Uh, she had no chance for the jump, but this is like really embarrassing. So unless all of the polling is wrong and she really makes this formidable, uh, you know, she gets formidable numbers, the ballots have come in now. So unless she somehow super outperforms the polls, this is Jeb Bush level of failure. This is like, this is kind of like her please clap moment. And then this is the whole candidacy in general is Jeb Bush 2016, which is synonymous with brutal failure.